Hi everyone, um, Laura from IT Moon, your small business digital assistance. We are affordable experts providing small businesses with loads of different services around their business really to help a small business run. So um, we're just doing a bit of a series of how-to videos on simple things that might help you and your business. And one of the things that some people mentioned to me before is how to use Trello, basically how to use it to plan social media. So here we go. Trello. It's a project management tool, but it can be used for a wide range of different things. So like on here, what we're doing is we're using it to plan social media. Just to give you a quick overview, you may already know this, but Trello in itself can be used for a wide variety of things, like I've mentioned. And what it consists of is you have lists. So these are all lists, Saturday, Thursday, Wednesday, Friday, and then you can add other lists in if you want. On each list, you have cards. These are all your different cards. Then within your cards, you've got loads of different aspects in here. So you can include attachments in them. You can include checklists in them, due dates, label them up as much as you want. You can put cover photos on them, labels, a wide variety of different things. So how I'm using this one is to plan social media. I like to plan mine every two weeks because um, I don't like to do a full month at once because things change. Um, and there's nothing worse when you've planned a four month social media, something changes, then you're stuck and you've got to reschedule everything or even just redo all the posts. Usually today is my day that I'm going to be planning the next two weeks. So as you can see, I've started the planning, but I've left some of it unfinished so that I can show you what's what. So on here, this is just a copy of one that I've made. Yeah, basically you can include your logo on here. So I've included my logo, I'd add a card in it, I've attached it and it's there if I ever need it. Put your colour palette on there if you want, including your hex codes in the description. I've got something down here called templates, which I'm going to show you how we use these soon. But with social media, you want to make sure that you've got different content going out. You don't just want sales, 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 sales. It's not where to go. Like only I've split on different content that I may do on my page. So I may do some company or personal. So as I've put here, posts that are about my company, such as what does the company do, services on offer, etc. Then motivational, so it might be a motivational post, such as a quote or a story to inspire somebody. Then you are going to have your sales posts, so it be for a different service or anything like that. Then you've got engagement, there's going to be loads of different course pop things like that, so it could be such as what's your favourite season, so you're expecting people to comment in there with what their favourite season is, or choose this or that post, so it could be you put a few photos in, choose which one you prefer and things like that. Then you've got your purpose and advice, which is probably the thing that's going to be most on your Facebook page, which is giving out advice on something. It could be that you're telling something about, if you say, for instance, you're a company that you basically do gardening. You might do a post basically giving people a little bit of snippets of advice, such as how often should you cut your grass? What's the best lawnmower? And things like that. Then you know, every post, you, you should put testimonials up now and again. Not obviously every single day. I mean, necessarily, you don't even have to do every week. It could be every couple of weeks where it's a review, something from a feedback form, just something like someone might have just said to you in passing, anything that lets people think, right, okay, they know what they're doing. So all of them are templates. And then as you can see, I've scheduled these out in here. April 27th. So I've put my due date on. I've even put the time that I want to post it, which is 11.30. Of course, on my social media page on Facebook, everybody's generally around the most around about between 10 and 12. So I want to get in there about half 11. I've got my checklist here. So I've written the content and I've created the image, but I haven't scheduled it. So I know what to do. I actually haven't done none of that, but I've just done it to show you that I have. And what it could be for the content, you can either write the content directly into Facebook in a Word document, anywhere you want, or you can just actually write the content out in here. And then all you have to do is copy it, go to your Facebook, paste it in, maybe put some emojis in if you want to put some emojis in and you're done and adjusted. The image, create your image. There's loads of different programs you can use. I always recommend Canva. Canva's fantastic for creating images for social media. And then obviously you need to schedule your post in because you don't want to be just constantly keep posting up every day. It's going to take too much time. So you want to schedule in advance. And then that's it, done and dusted. And then what I can do, I can tick it off when it's all done or what I'm going to do. And it might be I archive it when everything's done. But to me, I don't like to archive it until I get back to the next bit of planning. And then also what happens is if you click calendar here, you can see what you've got planned in. And this is when the colours come in handy. I don't want to be just posting sales, 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 sales. And I can quickly see here, I'm not posting sales, sales, sales. Purple, so I've got a bit motivational in there. I've got some greens, so I've got some advice going out. I've got some orange here, so about the company. I've got a testimonial in there. I have got a sales post. I've got a bit of engagement in there. And you can schedule it out. You might plan 
a whole month but you might not necessarily schedule it all in and create the content for that whole month you might because for me sometimes what i would do i may actually plan the whole month out or basically just the very basics this is a post about this but i won't write the content just in case anything changes and i'll do that a couple of weeks before so as you can see april 27 8 29 30 may 1st as it goes along i've done the first week which is next week the week after that may 4th may 5th i need something for may 6th so i'm going to post up i'm trying to do a bit about stress as you can tell over the next couple of weeks i'm going to give some purpose or advice post and it's basically going to be if we click create card sorry from template then what i might do is say stress and where to get help and then i want to leave this checklist ticked labels ticked and what's it going to do the checklist is going to make sure it has this checklist which i've already pre-written which is for every single facebook post it needs to have the content written the image created and it needs to be scheduled and then add a label so it's not going to add this label on so i know what type of content it is so if i click create card it's going to create that for me and then as you can see it's here so it's created it for me and then what i might want to do just so i remember i might want to say put some snippets in here so link to blog post website just so i don't forget put a due date in so it was may the 6th i believe so we're clicking may the 6th you don't have to put a time in i just like to just in case i want to do anything else with time so i'm going to say 11 30 click save and as you can see it doesn't appear on wednesday straight away but what i've got to do if i scroll down here it's at the bottom and i just drag it in so now when i look at my calendar I can see, yeah, we've got that scheduled in. And obviously you might schedule more than one post per day. I advise if you don't count the post every day, then aim to get that done first and then you can up your game. And then the idea behind this is that if you've got posts going out to your Facebook every day, then what all you have to worry about is while you are working, you might be out on a job and think, actually, I'm going to take a photo of this and post that up. You can do that. I'm not saying, right, because you've scheduled, you cannot make no posts on your social media. It's actually saying, look, I've got something going out to make sure I'm engaging with my audience every day. I don't have to worry about it. But if I see something good, I'm going to post it up. If I get an idea or I see a good link that I want to share to people, I'm going to post that up, that kind of stuff. Oh, I want to do a live video today. Right, I'm going to do that live video you don't have to plan right i'm going to do a live video here to fill that day in you're getting the basics in there straight away how you create these templates because it might be you want to add a different one in if you click add another card and then you basically give it a title so testing template and then as you can see it don't give it a label or anything so what you have to do is click on it again and it brings up this screen so first off you want to add a label i did these labels already but you could click create a new label I'm going to have that color i'm going to call it testing template create and you can see it's assigned it and then it might be that i want to include a checklist so if i want to include a checklist that i've already made such as i want to include the same checklist for facebook i can add that in there or i might want to put another checklist in so i can create another checklist which is going to be actually i do twitter as well so i want to have twitter on this post as well so on twitter hashtags so i can write my hashtags in content image schedule done and dusted all i need to do then is click make template and then what it's going to do is make it template as you can see here so it's a template card and if i want to use that create a card and it's done and dusted i'm not repeating myself over and over and over otherwise it will get very tedious and we don't want that you might want to extend this board out so you might want to create like over here i've created something called ideas so it might be that one day i'm like oh actually i've got an idea i'd love to do a series post about forklift advice because i do forklift training for mhg services so forklift advice series and I, I might just leave it at that might not even give it a label i just know i want to do something around that so i'm putting it in the end i don't forget it might be but you want to have a list on there for twitter so you might want to put twitter on there you could have a social board for each individual one or it could be that on this like this has got a facebook checklist you include twitter linkedin there's loads of ways you can do it it's to what suits you so hopefully that helps you out hopefully it makes social media a little bit easy for you if you do want a copy of this pre-set up board so that you can just edit it and off you go just let me know because what i can do is send you a link through and all you have to do then is when you load it up this board click show menu here and then you just click copy board give your new name board so it could be your company name social media if you have a team you'd assign the team out and if you've got team set up you probably haven't but if you're new to it you want to keep the cards and the template cards and click create and then all it's going to do is create another board that you can edit that out then to suit your needs basically and then you, off you go or use it and if anybody does have any questions just drop me a comment and let me know if there's anything else you've been dying to know somebody no matter how simple it is just 
let me know and we'll shoot a quick video and show you how to do it. This is a way we, I use my clients. So basically what I would do with, if you're a client of mine, for instance, I would share this board to you so that you can see what I am planning. You can see where I'm at. You can think, oh, actually, message me. I'm not really keen on that idea, what you put there. And like, right, no race. And what are you thinking about changing it up to? What I'd do beforehand as well, I say, look, can, um, before the two weeks post, can you quickly review this and check that it meets your needs? that kind of stuff so it works perfectly well it's free doesn't cost you anything and it's nice and visual you can get it on your phone as well so if you're out and about and you've come up with an idea you can do it or you're sat in the garden you want to do a bit of social media planning on your phone you can do it on your phone the templates just make it easier as well you can add as much as you want down here it could be that on these posts you want to add actual images so you click attachment straight there so you've created your image you want it straight on there you can see so there's loads of different things that you can do to make this suit your needs because everybody's different and obviously other people might have better ideas the calendar just makes it look nice and lovely for you so you can see where you're at with your planning it might be that you want you know want to put all your awareness days in you might know right um this I have no idea. 17th of April is National Lawnmower Day. I've got, I've got an obsession with lawnmowers today. I think my husband might need to cut the grass. Um, but basically, that's you can use it to suit your needs. So hopefully that helps you out. If it does, let me know. And just basically have fun with it and have a play around with it. Um, thank you for watching, everybody. Laura from IT Moon.